Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I wanna show you step-by-step -step how to create this promo bar here on the top with the countdown timer. So this is useful in situations where you have maybe a site that sells products or you want to notify your subscribers about something, whatever it is. If you want to highlight something or a message, this is where you would use this. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create this and uh, also this call to action uh, button here. Now, this can also be disabled if the offer has run out or you know the time has expired, and I'm also going to show you how to do that. Right, now before we get started, if you wanna learn how to design professional looking websites with Divi, I have a special discount for you, or a special offer for you rather. So the offer is if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, the course that teaches you how to create professional looking websites with WordPress and Divi. So once you buy it, just let me know via email and I'll give you access to the course. Secondly, if you already have Divi and you'd like to learn, I have also a VIP membership, which gives you access to all my courses as long as your membership is active. All that information is in the video description below. Without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you step-by-step -step how to create this design from scratch. So this is going to be our hero part. Let's dive in. So let's start by creating our header. So I'm gonna come over here to a DV theme builder because the technique we're going to use to have this message on our above our header will not work if you don't build it from the um, DV theme builder. Okay, so I wanna come over here now and click on add global header and then we're gonna build it. And let's build this from scratch. Now, so I'm gonna need three columns. So I'm gonna go with this column structure here. So that's gonna be our image for our logo. I'm gonna add it. And then I'm just gonna delete this and then set this to site logo, okay? So that will just pull our logo for our website and then I'm gonna save. In this, in this one here, I'm gonna add my menu. So I'm just gonna search for it and select it. And right now it's pulling data from my main menu. So that's great. And then over here now, in fact, let me save this. And then over here now I can add whatever I need to. It could be a button, it could be social media icons. I mean, it's up to you what you add in here. So I'm just gonna add a basic button in there and then save. Next, I need to make some adjustments to my um, section settings and also my row settings. So first of all, I'm gonna come over here to my row settings, design, sizing, and I'm gonna set my maximum width here to 80%. And I also need to remove the padding from my row. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to spacing, and I'm gonna set this to zero and zero as well. And save. Next, I need to go into this logo and uh, just resize it a little bit. So I'm gonna click here on design, sizing, and I'm gonna reduce the size here down to about, let's go with maybe 20%. And then save. Now it's time to go into my main uh, section for my header. So over here, I'm going to click on section settings, click on design and go to spacing. And here on my padding, I'm gonna set this to zero as well and then I'm going to save. So as you can see now, my header is really thin up there, which is great. All right, so now that I have my row and my headings all set, the next stage now is to start adding color to this. So I'm gonna go into my section settings and for my background color, I'm gonna go with this really dark color here. So once I do that, you notice that uh, we also have this white background here and that's not good. So let's go in and fix that. So I'm gonna go into my module settings, go to background and set this to transparent. And then now I can go in and set my colors for my menu. So I'm gonna to go to menu text, set my, oh, that's the active color. So let's set this to a different font. So this time I'm gonna go with Something I haven't, uh, no, some, something that I don't normally use. So I'm gonna go with EB Garamond. Let's go with that. Let's make it all caps, change the color. And I'm going to increase the size a little bit. Let's go with 16 and then I'm gonna 
also add some letter spacing here. And maybe we might need to set this to bold. Yeah, I think that looks better, bold. All right, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna save that. And then over here on the button, I'm gonna go into my settings and I'm gonna click on design button and activate styles for button. Now this is very important because if you don't activate styles for button, it's gonna be very hard for you to customize this button. All right, so what we can do here is we can uh, add our color for our button and also add our background color. So the next thing I would like to do here is to remove my border width. So now all we have is just the text. So I can decide to just leave it as it is. And to be honest, I think I'll just leave it as it is for, for now. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is I am going to change the font itself because it looks out of place. So let's go with EB Garamont as well. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna save that. Now, as I'm looking at this, this might need a bit of padding to be honest because things are not looking great here. So let me go back over here to my section settings, click on design, and I'm gonna go back to spacing here. And instead of having zero pixels, let's have two VW. Now, as you can see, that's a bit too much. Let's reduce this to maybe one VW and then save. Now, one more thing here on my menu, I can see that it's mostly over to this side. Let's align it to the right. So I'm gonna go to menu text and look for my alignment and here it is. There we go. So now I can align it to the right. So that's looking great. And as I say, this could be my button. Now it's time to add our call to action on the top. So to do that, I'm just gonna duplicate this so that I don't waste a lot of time uh, trying to design it. So what I'm gonna do now is to go to my section settings, go to background and add a color. So the color I'm gonna add here is something that's gonna really stand out. So something close to like a orange or yellowy color. So I think I'll go with that and save. Now, all I have to do is to delete all these elements in here because I don't need the button here. I don't need all of that. And I'm also gonna delete that. So now I'm gonna add some text. So I'm gonna search for my text here. And you know what? I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna keep it simple here. So this could be your actual message. And now let's go in and stylize this. So I'm gonna go to text, change this to EB Garamond, change the color so that it stands out. Let's increase the size a little bit. So we're gonna go with 22. And let's save this for now. Right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go back in and this time we need to add some elements here. So I'm gonna go with this column structure here and let's have a look. So this text here needs to be the first column and let's align this text to the right. So as you can see, I don't have access to it, in fact, Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come back over here to the bottom and let's click our layers. So on the top section here, I know in my rows, in the first row, this is where I have my text. So I'm just gonna drag this into the second column. In fact, it's gone to the wrong one. So let's drag this into the second column like that. Okay, great. So now that I have that to my second column, in fact, you know what, this is crazy. I need it in my first column, what am I talking about? What we need to do is to go in and align it to the right, so that's what I need to do. So I'm gonna go into text and align it to the right and save. Now over here, to make this even more exciting, we're gonna add a countdown timer. So let me search for countdown. There we go, countdown timer. But as you can see, the way it's showing here is not great. So let me just delete that. Okay, so all we have now is just um, the time. So let's change here on our calendar and let's move our layers over here. We don't need the layers for now. Right, so let's go to the background and remove the background color. And uh, we might as well go into the design now and start working on our text. So first of all, let's change our font and let's change our style here. Let's make it nice and bold. 
But you know what? This minutes, days, and all of that, I don't really need that. So, in fact, you know, let me leave it there. So let's go in and just change the colors. There we go. So those are the colors there. And let's save this. Now, over here is where you want to have your call to action. So let's add our button. So I'm going to search for my button module here. And I'm just going to say get the offer. Like that. Maybe all caps doesn't work. Okay, let's do it that way. Right, so now that we have this get the offer, make sure this is linking to the page that you have the actual offer. Okay, so now that we have this, let's go into design and let's go into the button and activate use custom styles for button because this is going to allow us to go in and make changes to it. All right, so with that now, I'm going to, first of all, let's change the button background color. There we go, let's go with a nice dark color there. And now for our text color, we're gonna go with that. And then moving on, we need to remove the border. And if you want to, you can uh, remove the uh, border radius or you could just set this to 100 pixels and this will make it a rounded uh, button. And now we can change the font by coming over here to EB Garamond. Uh, the font color is okay, to be honest. I'll leave it as it is. And the button seems okay. And here we're going to change this to semi-bold. The size is a bit too much, the, uh, the button text size. So let's reduce this a little bit. There we go. It doesn't have to be all crazy, you know. So get the offer. I think that looks nice. I'm going to save that. So now this is our main uh, promo that we have here on the top. So what we could also do is we can go in and uh, go into design. And let's go into spacing. So here I know we've set it to one VW. We can go down to even zero. Or you can use pixels. Well, let's say six pixels. Okay, so now it's not a bit, it's not too much. Save that. Now, this message that we have here, we can go in and say summer sale starts now. Okay, we can also say hurry. 20% discount. Yep. In fact, this starts now needs to be small. Let's have it like that. Okay, summer sale starts now. Hurry, 20% discount. We've got a, co a countdown timer there and then the call to action. So we're going to save that. Now, this, as you can see now, this is our main promo. So the question is, so what do we do once the promo is done? But before we do that, I want to show you something quickly. I'm going to save this. In fact, let's close this and let's save this header and go to our main website. So let's close this, save changes. And now we are going to go to our main site. In fact, you know what? Let's go to a page that we designed before. So I'm just going to copy and do this in a new tab because we really want to see the header. So there we go. So our header now really, really shows. And we also have, but you see, the thing is we have two call to actions here. So we may want to change this for social media icons. So maybe that would work better that way. But anyway, my point is you can see this offer. So I want to go to a page which I designed recently. And the page is called landing. Let's click on view so we can see this landing page. So as you can see now, I can scroll through this. And this was uh, created in a previous tutorial. So now we can see this really nice summer sale and we also have our navigation here. So what you would need to do is just to add your logo here to just make everything look great. Now, you know what? Let me go in and let me fix this. So I wanna go in here now and uh, remove those two call to actions. All right, so instead of having this, I'm gonna delete this and uh, I wanna go in and add a call to action. So why is he not deleting? This is strange. Oh, there we go. Right, so this time I'm gonna add some social media. Follow. So I can add a few, so we've got Twitter. Let's add one more and this could be, uh, let's go with Instagram. So Instagram is quite popular, so I'm gonna go with Instagram, save this. So now we have our social media icons and we have our call to action there. And then over here for our logo, this is not where we change the logo, by the way. So I'm going to show you where you actually change the logo. So our header here is done. I'm going to 
close this and save changes. So now let's do a quick refresh. And there we go. Now we have our social media icons and our promo. That's looking great. So over here now, what we're gonna do is we are going to add our logo by coming over here to theme options. So the logo needs to be set over here. So I'm gonna click upload. So hopefully I have a logo here in my library that I can just use quickly. So you know what? I'm gonna go with this one here. So set my logo, save changes. And now I'm gonna refresh this. So you can see here my logo is there, but it's not looking great, it's way too small. So now it's time to go into my theme builder and change my header size for my logo. Right, so I'm gonna click here on my module settings. Strange, okay, let's go into our layers since we can't get into that. So I know it's my second section and let's go into our first column and here we go in our settings. Right, so for our logo here, I'm gonna go into sizing and increase the size. So I'm gonna go with 42 and save. I know it's not very clear. So in fact, you know what? We might be able to go into design and let's go to our filters here and see if we can increase the brightness. There we go. And is there anything else we can do? Nope. And we can't invert it either. Okay, so that's the best I can do for my logo. I'm gonna save that. But of course, in your case, you're going to have your own logo. So this is just for demo purposes only. So now if I save this and let's close this. If I refresh this page, it now looks much, much better. Okay, so that's looking much, much better. Right, so what we're gonna do now, let's say the promo is done and you don't need to show that offer anymore. So let's say it's a one-time sale and it happens in April. What you can do is you can come over here. Instead of deleting it, you can click here on this gear icon on our section settings, click on advanced visibility, and then just disable it on all devices. Save. I'm gonna save one more time. And now if I refresh this, that should go. There it is, it's gone. But behind the scenes, it's there. So if you wanna use it next time, you can always go in and use it once again. So this is the quick way of going in. And if you wanna go back in and um, set it up again or set a different message, it's easy, you come over here to advanced visibility and then you can just show it. And also you can have different designs for uh, different mobile views. So let's say on the smartphone, you want to disable it, but you want to enable it on a, on a, um, on a um, iPad, you can leave that you know, as it is. But now if I, just by activating it, you can see here, it's now back. So this is how you add a promo bar on your website. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.